Hello, everybody. Welcome to Cooking at Isabella. I'm Nurse Tao. Today, we're making one of the most common dishes that you will see at a Chinese restaurant: green onion pancake. So, let's look at the ingredient list for today. You need about two cups of green onions. You chop it finely. So I usually cut like try to make bites the small size of green onions because it's easy to chop it really small. Because it will be something really small go into the pancake, so no, the pancake will not fall apart. You need about two cups of flour, all-purpose flour. You also need about half a teaspoon of salt. Then you need about here. Uh, you need two different type of water. One is boiled hot water, so we need about half uh, half a cup of hot water, and also need about three quarters of cold water. I have a pre measure here. For the pancake, you also need some sesame oil. I have about one tea uh, one teaspoon of sesame oil in here. You also need about one、um, teaspoon of five spice powder. The five spice powder are usually about one teaspoon. So basically, you will sprinkle on top of the pancake. I will show you how to do that.、And、what you need to do is basically you want to make sure that you mix the salt and the flour all together. So let's do that here right now. I'm gonna. Put that into a big bowl here. So once you have all the mixture all together for the flour and the salt, you want to create a little bit hole in the middle. Now I'm going to get my hot water and pour the hot water right into the middle. Like I say, you need hot water for about half a cup. Right in there. Then you need about three quarter cups of cold water. So I'm gonna put that right in here, and just let it sit there until the water's cup cool off. Then you will use your hand to mix the dough. So we'll come back right into it. I was waiting for the water to cool off. Now we'll begin a glass of wine, and can also show you this. Post dipping sauce that you can serve with your pancake. Guess what? It's very easy. Just equal amounts of vinegar, rice vinegar, and soy sauce, and I put a few dash of peppers in there. So that's it. So while we enjoy our wine, then we'll come back to the dough when it's ready. Okay, so now the water has cooled off. I'm going to use my hand to mix the dough. Of course, I wash my hand for two minutes beforehand.、So、basically, you just want to mix until you incorporate. I had done this so many times that、uh, I just can't. So, so impatient. So I basically got dig my hand into the hot water quite a few times. So just so you know. First, when you incorporate everything together, you might feel that the dough is a little bit. On the dry side, but what you need to do is just basically try to scrape off everything on the side of the bowl and really incorporate everything until the final product that is really kind of like shiny on the surface, kind of like shiny smooth surface. So basically, just kind of like like kneading everything like this. The purpose of having hot water and cold water is to create some more textures in your pancake, like have that more chewiness. Somehow there's a chem chemical reaction that I don't know how to explain to you, but I learned that that's how you really have that nice, soft, and chewy texture in your pancake.、So、basically, just keep kneading those, and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, now the dough's ready. Look at this. Really shiny. 
So what we're gonna do now is gonna wrap this up uh, in the plastic wrap and then let it rest for 30 minutes and we'll come back to it and I'll show you how to do a second portion second sections of like rising for the dough as well so you can leave it in the bowl if you want to but I'm going to cover it here today just in this wrapped here now to let it sit for 30 minutes so this is a really good activity for me to make because then I get to enjoy my wine and do whatever I need and then come back to it. So let it sit there for 30 minutes in room temperatures and we'll come back to it. Okay, so now I take this out of the plastic wrap. So as you can see, I also put some flour on my counter right here. So basically I'm going to cut it into an equal amount of four portions. So basically I'm going to cut into the center and then another half right here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is basically gonna roll them up one by one here. As you can see here. Gonna roll them up into a ball first. So like just like that. So you can press everything out. As round as possible, but you don't it does not need to be perfect, honestly. A nice way. So basically, use a rolling pin. One, two, and then turn this around here. One, two, again. And turn it around. One, two. One, two. So basically, it's gonna keep turning around until you come back flat into a pancake shape. And just so you know, because I'm from southern China, this is not really quite my specialty in terms of making this kind of like flour base recipe. So I'm still like learning as you go as well. However, I'm trying to show you what was the best for you. Basically, kind of like trying to get everything flat enough. the weather is a little bit humid today so they become a little bit sticky okay so now as you can see I already rolled it up almost like a square shape so I'm gonna show you how to roll this up and we're gonna do the second rest second rise for this pancake so what you want to do you have your sashimi oil right here so what you want to do is just basically brush the sashimi oil all over this pancake then what you want to do is that take about a quarter Teaspoon of five spice powder. We on top. Now I'm going to use this brush again and brush this all over this pancake. As you finish doing that, now you're going to put in the green onion. Try to leave some space on the edges so you can hide the green onions. So basically, leave the edges about one centimeter away. Hi, Finley. Hi, Finley. Okay, so now you want to roll this pancake here. So you can probably roll it right here. You can stretch out on the side and you usually can try to push on the edges. So you can like seal the pancake really. And as you roll up, maybe make it as small as possible here. That's how you create a layer of the pancake later on. So as you roll it up, just make sure that you kind of try to put the edges or seal it up. Okay, so now that's your first one, it's ready to go right here. So what you want to do is just basically let it rest there. So I'm going to roll up all four rows of the pancake and then let it rest for another 30 minutes and we'll come back to show you how to finish off the pancake. Okay, so we had our second rice. As you can see, I really cannot wait to roll up some of those ugly onion pancake already. So let me show you how to do this. So you have the one right here, nice arms or strips. So what you want to do is that come by and roll it towards the inside because I'm rolling the green onion towards the inside here. So basically what you do is come by rolling almost like a cinnamon roll in a way. 
then towards the end here, it will tuck it underneath. So there you go. So that's one here. So what you want to do once it that's all done, you basically push down from the top here. And then it's okay, you know, sometimes the wing on your mice got squeezed up a little bit. Totally fine, no problems there. Because who would not like some really delicious and raw wing onion Okay, so now I have my frying pan heat up here, so you don't want to have any oil when you first put the pancake out. So basically, heat that up and put the pancake down right here. So basically, what you want to do is basically try to cut my pan fry without the oil first. So that kind of like firm the really nice crust on the bottom. So you put the pancake in about medium heat or so. So you will get your cooking oils ready. Uh, basically, you cut by cook both sides first before you adding any of oil. As I'm cooking here, you can also use your spatula. Cut by press down a little bit more because when the pancake hit the frying pan, they actually be able to stretch out even more a little bit. Okay, so now the side on the underneath on the frying pan is already brown, so I'm gonna flip it on the other side. Look at that gorgeous color. So now is the time that you want to eat, just add a little bit light, uh, maybe a teaspoon of cooking oil here. You're still at the medium to high heat or so. So what you're gonna do, a spatula, you cut like basically a pancake and cut like in circles and pan fry it. So that way, you can prevent that the heat's got burned at a certain area of the pancake and also making sure that pancake cooks through as well. Okay, so now you, what you want to do is just cut those into small pieces. So basically put it in the center, cut it into half, and then you cut lengthen up all together. And then another half right here. Now we can lengthen all together like this. And basically what you do is on the center, half. And there it is. Look at that. Check out all those layers of those pancakes. Okay, so the finished product is green onion pancake. So with the dipping sauce, basically equal amounts of soy sauce and rice vinegar. A few dashes of chili peppers, and that's pretty much about it. As you can see, green onion pancake right here. And in case you cannot notice that, the layers of green onion pancake right here on the side. It's perfect. I hope that you enjoyed this episode and stay with me. Please click the like button just to like my video, give me a thumbs up if you like this episode. Or please follow me and just click on subscribe to my channel as well. Again, this is Cooking at Isabella and I'm Nurse Tao. I will see you in the next episode.